parties are always special and I'm always looking for delicious small bite of appetizers that I can serve. Most often I prep a lot of things ahead of time but there are certain things that come fresh out of the oven like I'm going to show you today. So today I'm going to be making a cheesy stuffed mushrooms which is going to be stuffed with chopped spinach sauteed along with the Britannia Asli pepper cheese spread which comes in six different delicious flavors. And finally these stuffed mushrooms are going to be grated with a Britannia cheese. Yes, the pizza for cheese but you can use it in so many different ways like I'm going to show you today. And uh, this cheese is packed with flavors from mozzarella as well as cheddar. So without wasting any time, let me just dive right in and show you how to make this dish. So the first step is to cook the spinach and then toss it along with the asli pepper cheese spread. So I'm going to drizzle in some oil. We'll add in some chopped garlic. We'll saute it for a few seconds until you can smell the aromas coming through. And then I have some chopped spinach here with me, finely chopped. Just going to go ahead and add in all the spinach. And I'm going to saute the spinach until it wilts down completely, okay? So uh, I'm not going to add any salt because adding salt will release a lot of liquids. So I'm going to not add any salt while it's getting cooked. So after it wilts down completely, we'll toss it in the cheese spread. So notice that the spinach is wilted and it's nice and green and this is exactly how we want it to be. At this stage, I'm just ready to add the Britannia Asli Pepper cheese spread. So I have the cheese spread here with me. It's absolutely packed with flavors from black pepper and I simply love it. And I'm just going to add in a tablespoon of this. Just a little more and we're done. It's perfect. And I'm going to stir the cheese spread well into the spinach until it becomes nice and creamy and, um, and allow it to cool just a bit before we stuff it into the mushrooms. So this is done, it looks nice and creamy. The next step is I'm going to grate the Britannia cheese and then show you how to stuff the mushrooms. So now I'm ready to grate my Britannia cheese. I love this cheese because it's got a perfect blend of mozzarella and cheddar which brings in great taste to the dishes that you make. And another um, great thing about this cheese is that it gives a nice melty and stringy texture which children love and it's nice when it comes hot out of the oven. Great, so let me just finish grating this and I'll show you how to do the stuffing for the mushrooms. So the next step is to stuff the mushrooms. First I'm going to de-stem them and then I'm going to stuff it with the spinach mixture. Cheesy spinach right into it, keep it by the side. And we'll fill up the remaining mushrooms the similar way and then finally top it with the Britannia cheese. So that's it. Now I'm ready to sprinkle the cheese on the top. Great. So a little bit of the Britannia cheese into each one of them is just going to melt when we put it in the oven. All right. So now I have the oven which is preheated at about 200 degrees centigrade and I'm going to put it in the oven and bake it for about 10 to 12 minutes until the cheese is melted and the mushroom seems cooked and little wrinkled. So I'll just go do that. Notice how the Britannia cheese melts like magic. All right, the stuffed mushrooms are ready and I'm ready to serve it. Just going to quickly transfer this into my serving platter and sprinkle it with some red chili flakes and we'll be all set to serve it. Ensure that you serve it when it's right out of the oven because it's going to taste brilliant and melt in the mouth. Okay, that's it. We we'll go ahead and sprinkle some red chili flakes on the top and uh, you can also you know sprinkle it with some tabasco sauce if you like and to get that little bit of chili spike so i hope you get to make these delicious melt in the mouth stuffed mushrooms for your next party and when you do give it a try don't forget to take a snapshot of it and share your cheesy kitchen moments with us we'd love to hear back from you